Hey, 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 hey. Hey guys, you're probably thinking right now, oh my goodness, uh, we got three tutorials and this is all about the feed data dot class. Uh, basically, the feed data class is going to contain all the data, the information that we need for this project. So the rest is just going to be visual. So if you can get through these, you're doing great. You're doing great. All right. Let's go ahead. If you didn't get here, we have an else if feed dot source format. We went through this RSS feed, the difference in Atom. You, if you cannot view the screen, go ahead and change your screen quality so that you can view this code. Uh, basically, what we do is we're doing a for each loop syndication item in feeds dot items. Now, the syndication, uh, what we did up here with Windows dot web dot syndication is basically. Uh, we're allowing the computer to have a common class and a common type so that it can grab this information. We don't have to parse any XML that comes across. It just basically will take it and throw it into the class and handle it just like it should. So for each syndication item in the feed.items, and that's what we have up here, feed data equals new feed data, feed data dot title equals title, blah, blah, blah. We work through this feed data. So feed item we're instantiating this as a feed item equals new feed item right so feed item feed item dot title is equaling whatever this is dot text right then the item dot publish date dot time so I'm gonna go ahead and move down here we return the feed data we did a catch with an exception we returned a null let's say uh, we didn't want the program to completely air it out so we put the catch as an exception and returned it as null so that the program could continue to run. Now we're working on a public static uh, feed data and it's called get feed. So basically uh, what this does is it's returning the feed that has a specific title. Okay, so you're getting the information, you're putting that somewhere and we're calling it by the title that it has. So basically what we're gonna do is we put this variable in there, underscore Feed data source equals app dot current dot resources feed data re, feed data source as feed excuse me as feed data source oops I got the caps lock on feed data source now what we need is we're going to go ahead and do another variable and the variable is going to be matches okay equals underscore feed data source dot feeds dot where we're putting this where in because we want to let me see how many since I think we're gonna, uh, I think we're gonna need two. Okay, feed where feed and then we have the equal and then you have the less than sign, right? Feed dot title dot equals and then we're gonna go ahead and do title here. And we're gonna close that parenthesis off and put semicolon and finish that there. Now, if I uh, open, let's see, open parentheses, let's do it that way. Matches dot count is equal to one because you want to make sure that it exists. If it equals to one, then return matches dot first first match, right? Return no. If not, return no. That's basically what it's saying. Okay, so we got that done. Now we need to return uh, the post that has the specific title. So we return the feed that has a specific title. Now we need to return the post that has the specific title, right? So here's what we're gonna do. I believe, yeah. Let's make this a public public static. Uh, that's what we need. Feed item. Okay. And that's instantiating the classes that we made above. Feed item, get, get item, string, and then we're gonna do this by the unique ID. Okay. So, oops. Go back here and put a close parentheses there. Uh, static. Now what we need to do is we need to make a variable that is basically gonna be uh, a linear search that is acceptable for uh, small data sets because this isn't going to be bringing in super uh, huge data so variable feed data source equals app dot current dot resources basically doing the same thing sort of as we did it above feed data source okay 
as feed data source. Okay, now what we need to do is bar variable underscore feeds equals underscore feed data source dot feeds. Okay, now we need to also do a matches here as well. So we're gonna we need to make sure that it matches within, and we're using basically the same idea. Feed data source dot feeds. Um, what should we use here? Um, let's do a select many, select many group equals uh, group dot items dot where. Um, are we gonna do this? Feed item pool predicate. Sometimes this intelligence helps you out here. Uh, item. There we go. Let's do this again. Item equal because that's what we call an item right uh, is equal and then you need the uh, sign and then we need to do a item dot title dot equals and then we need to do unique oops unique ID my bad guys sorry told you the spelling doesn't work with me um, that went out from airing and then we need to go ahead and do an if statement just like we did there if matches uh, dot count is equal to one uh, we need to return matches dot first and then if not return null okay so basically let me go ahead and this should be I believe let me hold the control key and see what we got here I think I just need a couple more of the closing brackets. So let me go ahead and do that. Nope. There we go. And I believe we are done with this. Save this. You can build it up. Build this. Oh, you gotta build and then build. And it should build correctly. Okay. And we are. Let me move this easy bit thing and let's see what the output is. Let's Rebuild solution. Build all started. Rebuild succeeded. Zero fail. Zero skip. Uh, so that's it for our data, guys. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start a new tutorial. Uh, well, it's gonna be just the same tutorial, but we're gonna be working on other parts of it now. Uh, so see me on the next one. We got the data portion down. Now we're gonna start going, getting into the visual. Now, what do we do here? Uh, so let's see how this downloads the blog feeds just a second all right i don't know how much time i got but i'm going to describe to you real quick we have this public class that we made of feed data so this pulls all the data in the title the description the pub date then we've got individual feed items so that have title author content pub date uh, if you guys are using these get set methods making a class basically what you're doing is whatever attributes you have of something is what you're going to be getting so we have a title we have an author we have a content a pub date then we have a public class which is a feed data source and I'll show you exactly what um, in a feed data source it's basically holding a collection of blog feeds okay and it also has the methods in order to receive uh, or retrieve these feeds so we got this we got the observable collection which is our collection of data returning the feeds which we return down here okay then what we've got here is a public asynchronically task for getting the feeds asynchronically we've got the sport news. we got the feed to get feed async this dot feeds we're awaiting and those awaiting go all the way through this list we do this for each method we have a task to get the feeds asynchronically then we throw these back, return the feed data of each of these collections to the observable collection. Then we've got getting a particular feed by title. So if somebody clicks on it, you get it by title. Then it's getting it by the unique ID. So you're actually getting this there. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, next tutorial for the Windows 8 uh, after this. All right, bye-bye.